this time, there's three different answers because it could be the case that the strain was defective in step in producing protein E. So if it was knocked out for both alleles of gene E, you would not make the functional protein dimer that carries out the reaction, and the reaction wouldn't happen. Or you could be defective for both alleles of gene F, because if you're not making subunit F, the reaction isn't going to happen. There'll be no product. Finally, you could be defective for both genes. And then you make neither of the subunits and again, make no product. So in this case, um, the masking is going in both directions. Um, a defect in production of protein E masks what's going on at gene F. And a defect in the production of protein F masks what's going on at gene E. So this has been a very short lecture, we've, but we've considered two kinds of gene interactions that are very common in biological systems, including in our own bodies. Um, situations where one goal is accomplished in two different ways, and situations where the products of two genes have to cooperate to bring about a goal. And we've analyzed the effects of defective alleles, and we've predicted the genotypes from the phenotypes in situations where we knew the genetic basis of the phenotype. Coming up next, we're going to move on to thinking about regulatory interactions. These are more complex to think about, but they're extremely important in all biological situations. And they're going to prepare us for the next step, which is to think about the genetics of cancer. I hope to see you there.